Hello tiny house people, got another cool review for you. Um, this is a review that I've really been looking forward to doing because I have a good time with this one. This is the wash and dry clean machine, otherwise known as the Wonder Wash um, or Wonder Washer. Same thing with a different label on it. They go for about 50 bucks. I got this one at a thrift shop for 25. I don't think it had ever been used. Um, the other one that I got down in storage, I got for eight bucks, brand new, in a thrift shop. The original labels and everything in, in the original packaging, it had never been used at all. Um, if you're on grid, it doesn't really matter. You can get an electric wash machine. If you're off grid, like I'm going to be when my house is done, um, then you're gonna need an off grid um, wash machine and this is the one that I chose. I've done a lot of research online on these now and this is the one that I like the most. Um, I got it half full of um, hot water. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of there. You probably can. Um, what I've done is I filled it to the halfway mark. Now, I don't know what the instructions say. This is just the way that I do it. I really want to show how simple this thing is to operate because a lot of people get put off by it. They say I can't do that. If you live in a tiny house or you want to live in a tiny house, then you've heard that a hundred thousand times. You're crazy. How can you live in a tiny space like that? How can you use that stupid thing? I can't do that. Well, nobody's making you. Um, but yeah, actually you can do this. This thing works so simple. You'll start to ask yourself why we waste so much electricity on a regular washing machine. I swear this thing is so easy to use. So like I said, half full of hot water. And I'm going to wash about five days worth of my dirty laundry in there right now plus this dish rag so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it now the first thing you want to do is fill it with water you don't want to put the clothes in there first and then fill it after because when you put the water in on top of the clothes it becomes top heavy and the whole thing spills upside down water goes all over the damn place and it makes a big mess so don't do it that way put the water in first now you'll notice I got a couple of big towels in there. I should be able to get all this in there. If I can't, I'll do two loads. Now I was at a tiny house. Um, oh, I don't know what you want to call it, an expo. Somebody was building a tiny house in my area. I'm in Minnesota, St. Paul. And they had a little tiny house on display. And I was there and somebody asked me about this tiny wash machine because I mentioned I had one and they said well can you do a pair of jeans in there and that's about it and I said no you can do a lot more than just a pair of jeans in there like I said I got about five days worth of laundry going in here right now I'll see if I can get it all in there I might not be able to and once it gets wet it goes down I'll try. I might not be able to do this, but we'll see if I can get it all in there. Might have to back off a little bit. I think I got it over crammed, but we'll see. Yeah, I think I'm going to call that enough here. That's a, that's a little too much. I'll take a few items out. So I have a little room to operate in there now. I'm going to add a little more water at the top to help the clothes that I have in there settle down a little bit. Once they get wet, they go down and you will have more room for more laundry. You probably know that already. We've all done laundry before. Maybe I can get this all. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be, be able to get just about all of this in there. Okay, and I'm going to top it off a little more to keep some water on hand. Sorry about the noise. The sink is noisy. So again, I fill it half full, put the laundry in, then I top it off a little bit until I'm satisfied that there's enough water in there. That looks pretty good. Now, if you're off grid, if you're in a nice country setting, the dirty water is not probably gonna go down the drain. It'll probably go out on the ground, in which case you definitely wanna use a non-toxic detergent because you don't wanna contaminate the ground with 
toxic chemicals, phosphates, shit like that. I use this eco soap all the time and you only need a little bit. That's probably more than I needed. I should have been a little more careful about measuring that up. Now they claim that this thing pressurizes. The lid pressurizes the clothes and it does. Put the lid on. Crank it on there, good and tight. Make sure you got it on there tight, because I have had them pop off. It makes a mess. Okay, then you slowly crank it. Now you don't want to go too fast. If you go fast, what that does is equalizes the clothes in there, and the thing spins, and the clothes don't agitate. I tried it. So go nice and slow and you can hear the clothes go from the one side to the other. You can hear them sloshing around in there. Okay, what I'm going to do at this point is go ahead and set the camera down. Keep on agitating for about Oh, three, three or four minutes and then I will come back when um, I'm done. Again, if there are any naysayers out there who say that this is an ineffective way of doing your laundry, I want you to take a look at what I'm doing here. You may notice that this, looks an awful lot like this. This versus versus this. Okay, I'm back. It's been about three minutes. I started this at about 220, so it's been about three minutes. Now if you hear it, you can really hear the clothes agitating in there well. Now, do I look, do I sound, do I look and sound like I'm breaking a sweat here? So to all you naysayers out there, I can't say that I'm really having a difficult time with this. This is not hard work. Okay, now we have to rinse. So what I'm going to do is pop the lid here and you'll hear it make a um, kind of a discharge. See if we can hear it. I heard it. I don't know if you could hear that on the video. Now, we put the drain pipe on the bottom, and it has a tendency to drip when you put it in place, which is why I have a dish towel underneath it to catch any drippings. What we do is we push it in place. I'm going to use both hands here, so hold on a second. Okay. And it's not dripping anymore. So to speed things up, I push my hand down on the top to help force the water through. And I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down for a minute because this is not too exciting to watch and I will be back when it's drained. Okay, it's nearly complete. There's not much water left in there. And as I said before, to help speed it up, I'll go ahead and push my hand down on top of the laundry. This is just a rinse, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and pop this off. You notice it was a little drip, which is why I have the dish towel beneath it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cold water to this. Now again, if you're off-grid, fill it however you want. Um, I'll have a bottle or some system figured out. Um, and I'll probably share that information when the house is done. But at the moment, I'm not in my tiny house yet. My tiny house hasn't been built. 
So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use the sink. And of course, for the rinse, I'm adding cold water. and wasting all that water. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I got it full of cold water now, or about halfway full of cool water. And I'm gonna start the rinse cycle, which is another two minutes of cranking. And it is about Two thirty, so I'm gonna go ahead and crank this for a couple more minutes and I'll be back okay it's been about two three minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lid again you should be able to hear a little air escape so it really does pressurize the clothes in there Thing works great. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my drain pipe. I use both hands for this. There it goes. And again, any momentary drippage gets caught by the dish towel, so put a dish towel underneath it. It makes things easier. And now the rinse process is complete, and I will be back in a moment for the uh, spin cycle. Okay, for this part of the review, I have put the wash machine away. I put the clothes over here. They're sopping wet, mostly. Well, not quite sopping wet, but they're quite wet. And I got out my spin dryer. This is the Laundry Alternative spin dryer. This thing is awesome. What you do, tilt it on its side, and take the hose out from the bottom. Set it back up. Now if you're off grid like I'm gonna be, well if you're on grid you don't need this washing system. But if you're off grid, obviously you're gonna need some kind of electricity to power this thing. And I have my Duracell 600 power pack which can be charged off solar. I will do a review for this later. Plug it in there. Okay, and I'm gonna set the camera down. See if I can do this. Okay, we take the clothes. You want to spin them like this. Take this disc out. and flip the clothes around the sides. Even big soaking wet towels work great. The trick is to simply spin them like this a little and line them around the sides of the drum. Then you want to put this on top of the clothes. So the trick, I'll take this out again so you can see what I've done specifically, is to have a space down the center so you can see all the way to the bottom. You don't just want to throw them in there. You want to have them going around at the sides. Quite simple. Not difficult to do. This thing works great. Then what we do, simply crank it up to about five minutes. Maybe a little bit of a wobble. It starts up, you can see it throwing water out the sides already.
and it spins the water out really effectively. This thing works great. I got this for about, I don't know, 75, 80 bucks, somewhere in there. I think I got it on eBay, if memory serves. I, I actually can't remember, but you can get it at the Laundry Alternative. The thing works absolutely awesome. No complaints about this at all. Um, you can't put like the entire load that I just did in there all at once. Um, so I had to break it up into a couple of loads. But they go fast and the thing dries so effectively that I have taken clothes out of my electric dryer. Excuse me, out of the electric wash machine in the house when it's done with the spin cycle. Put them in here and it uh, spun even more water out of the clothes. Um, so it's really efficient. And I am going to put the camera down and I'll be back in just... Okay, it's just about done spinning. Absolutely no water coming out of the clothes at all anymore. It should click off in just a second. There it goes. I want to give it a second to uh, finish spinning. And it wobbles at the beginning and at the end um, during the startup and the shutdown. So you want to hold your hand on top of it. see it wobbling a bit there so you want to stabilize it. And if you pop the lid open, it also applies a brake to the drum so it stops spinning. But I usually don't do that until it's run down on its own quite a bit. Push down. Take this disc off, and these are just damp, just barely damp, They're incredibly dry for such a simple, you know, spin dryer. Really effective at spin drying. I know you can't feel it, the video camera, but trust me, they're extremely dry for a simple spin cycle. So I'm going to go ahead and get the next one loaded up here. And again, you want to go around the sides. You don't want to just jam them straight down the center. These clothes here are absolutely sopping wet. If you put it right down the center, put your clothes right down the center without lining the clothes around the sides of the drum, it'll get off balance and it won't spin evenly. So it's important to push them around the sides. And I think that's about as much as I'm going to get in this load. This disc on top. Again, crank it up to about five. Hold your hand on top to stabilize it. And once it's up to speed, Again, it throws out a lot of water. So I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to come back when all the clothes are done. And I'm going to finish up this review. Okay, I'm just pulling my last article of clothing out of here. It's done. Put the disc back in. And you can take your power pack if you're using one, put it back on the solar panel. Get that battery charged up so it doesn't sulfate. And these clothes are going to go in the dryer. When I get my tiny house done, they will be going out on a line to dry outside. Or in the uh, bathroom with a hang on a line in the wintertime. Um, if the weather's hot and you got t-shirts, you can just go ahead and put the t-shirt straight on. A little dampness will help keep you cool. But uh, otherwise, I'm going to call that quits. That's my review for the Laundry Alternative Spin Dryer, Mini Spin Dryer, and the Wonder Wash Hand Washer. Um, that's my review, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.